It's something that could be ripped directly from a Hollywood script. The heroes are on their way to find the bad guys, who are busy building bombs and booby traps to make it a bad day for the good guys. Will they find out who's plotting to put the villagers and heroes out of commission in time? One thing that could help is communication. It's, it's nice to see that we're all on the same page, working together. Uh, they have half the village uh, shut down for chemical search, and uh, everything's going real smooth. Uh, I just, uh, I'm impressed with the way communication's going. All right, on my word, on my signal, I need The 502nd Military Intelligence Battalion linked up with 110th Chemical Battalion during Operation Sentinel Sage, an annual exercise where the MI Battalion yes, tests their tactical and individual technical skills as well as their internal and external communications with other units to accomplish their mission, side exploitation for short, or finding said bad guys with said bad stuff. This training has been a huge opportunity for us. Uh, it's, it's hard to sort of get everybody together sometimes and get them training on the same thing. And when we go out to the field like this and we have a cumulative exercise where we start with the tactical side, we build into the technical side, and then we have a lane like this. And so I think that the training value in that is huge uh, for myself and for my soldiers. The exercise is based on real-world requirements and preparing for future operations worldwide. And this time, our heroes made it in time. The day is saved thanks to diverse skills and a whole lot of communication. From Joint Base Lewis McCoy, I'm Army Sergeant Frank Brown.